time to our knowledge that a Prime Minister has indulged in red hot propaganda of the most shoddy kind in order to influence a strike. Most of the Prime Minister's statement consists, as it refers to us, to the usual stereotype and out of date anti-communism that's not worthwhile spending time on. We will speak to any member of any executive of any trade union who is prepared to speak to us. Whether that union is engaged in a dispute or not, and we will not ask the permission of the Prime Minister or anyone else. Secretary for the London District Committee of the Communist Party, and I've held that office since 1953. Don't permit either Mr. Wilson or anyone else to compel me to start explaining whom I saw, when I saw, or where I saw. I don't ask Wilson to explain his whereabouts to me. He has no right to put me in a position where I have to make a comment. And if I don't make a comment, some people start drawing certain conclusions from it. It's an impermissible state of affairs. Well, I'd like to know how Mr. Wilson knows. Now, if Mr. Wilson were to tell me how he came to know where I was on a certain night at a certain place, then I'll be prepared to deny or confirm. But until Mr. Wilson does so, I'm not prepared to lend myself to this aura of mystery. <laughs> 